French silk pie. Who who loves chocolate doesn't love the silky creaminess of that delicious pie. Today we'll be making a French silk pie and I'll show you how easy it is to bring that chocolatey, smoothie, sweet taste to your home. We're gonna start with a very cold bowl and I put a few ice cubes in mine just to make sure that it's cold enough. We're gonna start with one cup or two sticks of butter and start mixing that up with one and a half cups of, of sugar. And then I'm just gonna cream that until it's really nice and creamy and together. Once the butter is incorporated into it, we're gonna add our melted chocolate and I make sure that the chocolate is melted completely but not at all warm because it will melt the butter and the final result will be melty chocolate um, instead of the nice silky smooth chocolate. It'll still taste great, but just not as beautiful and doesn't quite have the airiness that, that it will if you cool the chocolate first. And just mix that in there. While that's mixing, I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla, two teaspoons of vanilla. And I scrape down the sides here. And now I'm gonna add two eggs at a time, four eggs all together. Beat two eggs in and beat it for five minutes and then add the second two eggs and beat it for another five minutes. And I did scrape it down once in between um, while it was in this five minutes and then I'm gonna scrape it down again and add the other two eggs and beat for five more minutes. finishes up it'll be a little runny but still a light brown um, and a very silky texture and it's going to firm up in the refrigerator. I'm going to pour it into my pie crust that's waiting. And this is the oatmeal pie crust which I will leave a link below to. Oatmeal and um, pecans and just pour that in there. And after it sets for about an hour or two, um, then I will put whipping cream on it. Put plastic wrap over the top of it and put it in the refrigerator till it cools. Then finish with a little bit of whipped cream. About a cup, one tablespoon of sugar and a half teaspoon of vanilla. And then beat that until it's 50. I have my pie out of the refrigerator. It's been in for approximately two hours. And it's nicely set, topped with my whipped cream. Just very lightly sweetened whipped cream because the pie itself is quite sweet, so I don't want it to be overpowered with sweet whipped cream. So I just put a tablespoon of, of sugar in my whipped cream. And there we have it. Delicious, silky French silk pie.